an important set of figures was published about the deaths from coronavirus. First, the deaths in hospital, currently at 21,678. That's the number that's published every day. On top of that, yesterday, we saw the CQC figures for deaths in care homes for the two weeks ending last Friday. That was a figure of 4,343. And at the same time, the ONS figures came out for deaths outside of hospitals, outside of care homes, uh, and that was a figure up to the 17th of April of 1,220. There's a bit of a complication because of the different dates, but that makes a total to date, Mr Speaker, of 27,241 recorded deaths from coronavirus. And that's probably a, 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 an underestimate because of the time lag. Behind each number, of course, is a family shaken to its foundations. I absolutely share um, his, uh, I guess, our, our joint horror at the number of deaths. Tragedies, each and every one. Uh, equally, I, I'm going to disagree with him that it is far too early to make international comparisons. If they are to be done, they should be done on, on a per capita basis. And I think uh, we're already seeing that there are different ways that deaths are measured, not just in the UK and the different settings, but across Europe and across the world. The Prime Minister said on Monday that he wanted maximum transparency. Will the, will the First Secretary give us some now and tell us when the government will publish an exit strategy? First Secretary. Can I thank the right from the gentleman? Um, I'll just remind him that, um, as I said out on the 16th of April, SAGE advised against any changes to social distancing measures at that point. The reason is that uh, they would risk a substantial increase in the infection rate. SAGE is reviewing the evidence again in early March. Uh, he's asked for a, a time frame and a date. We can't give it until we have the SAGE evidence. Uh, if he thinks there's things that we could be announcing, whether it's along workplace, which you refer to, schools or, or otherwise, he, feel free to propose those things. Um, but I would just gently say that based on the advice and the evidence that we had from SAGE, which he said he wants to closely follow, uh, it would be very difficult for us to responsibly set out those proposals before we've had that subsequent advice from SAGE.